Hi, my name is Anya and I'm here with Ms. Hall and we're going to talk about the upcoming Gear Up events. How are you, Ms. Hall? I'm fine. How are you? Good. So I heard you guys are having a manifest. What is the manifest? So we're actually taking a group of 11th graders to the Pennsylvania Convention Center, I believe it is, and actually it's an Oak Center. And they're going to talk to local manufacturing companies and construction companies, and they'll get to, it's kind of like an expo, they'll get to walk around and talk to various companies. And for students who may not be interested in taking higher education or going to college after school, but they're still interested in getting good paying jobs, they could go and meet some people and get some more information on various opportunities for them. What exactly made you guys come up with this idea? So it's actually not our idea. We are partnering with, um, because this, this region is really, really um, rich in manufacturing companies and there's a lot of people who are retiring soon. So there's a really big push because there's a lot of jobs that are going to be available for younger students. So they're hosting the event and they wanted us to bring a bus. So. Okay. And when is it? It is on March 12th. All right. And where can students get the form? So we're usually at every lunch, uh, A, B, and C lunch, but they're also right outside of room 352, and you can get it right in our mailbox, and they can pick up the forms there. Is there a cost? Nope, it's free. All right, and what time does it start? It starts at 9 until 1 p.m., and they provide lunch as well, which is pretty awesome. All right, and what other events are happening soon? With Gear Up? Yes. Uh, we have a bunch of different events. Uh, the one on March 5th, we're going to Cabrini University, and it's a college tour, but we're also focusing on trauma. So any students who may have been affected by any type of trauma or know people who are or even may be interested in like careers in social work or criminal justice can go. And it's actually a day full of different workshops on how to manage trauma, handle trauma, and different types of things they can do to um, help live with that and help other people with work with trauma. Uh, we're also going to Temple University, and that'll be on March 13th. And that's going to be a tour of the campus, but we're also partnering with the Communication Studies Department. So anybody who's in classes mm -hmm. such as yours uh, in the class of 2020 can come and we'll spend the day with them and they'll get to actually be in the studio and see how their stuff works and things of that nature, which okay. is pretty cool. Right. Um, then we're going to Montgomery County Community College on March 20th. And that we're partnering with them. They're spending the day and they can do go into various workshops if they're interested in learning more about Microsoft Word culinary, nursing, and they actually get a micro-credential for completing the day, which is pretty cool. And then they'll get a scholarship to continue on at Montgomery County Community College for that specific major, which is pretty nice. And then the last thing we have coming up is we're taking students to Glasgow Smith Klein on April 26th, and that's going to be a job site visit, so they get to see the facilities. Any students who are interested in pharmaceuticals, um, healthcare, that type of career can go with us for that day and kind of see what it would be like to work for that kind of company. And anyone can come to them? So it's Class of 2020 can come. Um, Glasgow Smith Klein, we're partnering with Upward Bound, so if you're in Upward Bound, they can also attend, which is pretty cool too. Why do you think going to um, many colleges is helping the students? Uh, well, I think because for me, I know I had to see a bunch of different schools and for instance, Temple University is in the city. So if a student's not really used to the city because it looks very different than Narstown, mm -hmm. for them to step on campus and see what it's like and get a feel for where they could potentially spend the next four years is really important because they might not think, they might think they want to be in the city, right. but then they get there and they're like, ah, oh, this is too much yeah. for me. It's too many people. It's too busy. So it's really great for them to experience um, hands-on or with their own eyes and get a feel for what the campus looks like mm -hmm. um, and, and meet the professors and see the different students around, who looks like them, if they want to go into school that's more diverse right. or not. It's, it's great to get the experience before they actually set foot on campus for the first time. Yeah. Is there any cost to any of the trips? Nope, everything is free for okay. Gear Up students. So. And what trip are you most likely looking forward to? Hmm. I'm interested in Glasgow Smith Klein. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, to see like what they do on a regular basis, mm -hmm. but I'm also really, really interested in learning more um, about trauma, so going to the Caprini University one mm -hmm. and learning different tips and tricks to help with students and people who have experienced trauma in their lives, so I think that'll be really informative. And are these trips during school all day? Yes, everything is during the school day, so we'll be back by two so students can catch the bus. Okay, and is there anything else you would like to add? No, just, I guess, take advantage of the opportunities because I know I would love to have had different types of opportunities when I was younger um, in high school just to see if something 
might have piqued my interest to spend the rest of my life doing. So mm -hmm. if they can um, dibble and dabble in different types of upcoming events and programming and careers before they actually pick a major for college, I think that's a really awesome opportunity. So I would just hope students take advantage. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm Anya here with Ms. Hall, and we talked about the upcoming Gear Up events. Now back to the Eagle's Eye.